Let's see, he's passing up all the mice. Passing up. Oh, he got one! He got one right there. I saw it. A kangaroo rat. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and we're back in the Grazert, as it's called. No time for BS. I want to make sure that our desert is doing quite well here. Now, we have all kinds, all kinds of alerts, but it doesn't look too bad. Oh, these, these antelope, what are they doing? They're just kind of hanging out next to one another, looking solemnly at the ground. They don't look very happy while this little mule deer kind of passes on by. Oh, we've got a, we've got a, a, cir a circle of life going on over here. One of these mule deers got taken out, and it looks like the bones of one of them is dispersing over here as well. Now, what I had wanted to do was continue to move around to the left so that we can get toward the water. And for that, I think we're going to go ahead and place down a couple more plants because we always need plenty of those, and especially things like these grasses. You know when you're when you're up high like this, when you're looking from from up up in the sky, so to speak, everything looks like everything looks so less crowded up here, you know what I mean? Like when you go down there, you're like, "Man, I got a lot of plants and stuff everywhere." But from up here, it really doesn't look like there's all that much hanging around. So let's get this place all tricked out. Tricked out. A couple coral snakes over here as well. Maybe I'll put one over here. And one over here. I imagine there should be some good coral snakes in the desert. What a badger down here, too. Yeah, we're using up some good energy now. And I want to probably... I probably want to unlock all of the zones so that we have as much energy that we can store as possible. That just means longer play times for us, and I kind of like that. I do want to make sure that I keep giving you guys some informative tidbits about these critters. But sometimes I forget which ones I have talked about and which ones I haven't. Now, one of the ones that I know we haven't talked about yet is the coyote. So let's go ahead and bring this coyote right over here, and then we'll zoom on down. Let's find one of these little howlers. Oh, he's going after something. Oh, I thought he was. He's just kind of hanging out. Well, now he's sleeping. Let's go ahead and click on one of these coyotes and see what it has to say. Coyotes are omnivores and will eat anything from small animals to carrion. Generally, coyotes are meat eaters and will hunt live prey. They prefer smaller animals like mice and rabbits, so they hunt frequently. They will also eat insects occasionally. Some humans consider coyotes to be a nuisance because they will attack livestock or even pets. I can tell you where I'm at. We have some coyotes, and that is true. For the most part... I guess they they really don't come around people that much, but man, they will take out your animals, like your cats and your dogs. We've had quite a few neighborhood cats that have gotten taken out by the coyotes. Now, what I've noticed here is that I'm pretty sure I can select any one of these in the bio decks and get there easily. I know I've been clicking on the creatures the whole time, but for anyone who doesn't want to go through all the pain and suffering that I've gone through, you can actually just click over here and learn about all these different creatures that way. Now with that, I'm sure that we have... Oh, let's go ahead and fast forward this a little bit so we can continue to gain our energy as quickly as possible. Now it already looks like we're going to need some additional plant life over here, so let's get down some agave... And perhaps another sage bush over here. Those are always nice. No, always nice. Now these actually look a lot like agave as well. I mean, the ones that we have around here where I'm at, these look a lot like those. Also kind of look like, um, what do they call it? Aztec grass, I think it is. And we have all kinds of tropic and desert plant life around my parts. Let's move over here to the bush, the uh, Crisotti bush, and get a couple of those down because I know everyone likes to eat these guys. Maybe a couple barrel cactuses as well because we really haven't put down many of those. Yeah, we're moving pretty good over here. Ah, we've got some more income. And our plant and animal health is looking way better than it was last time. Our diversity score is actually looking pretty darn good too. Let's put down some of this sweet 
Akakia. I wish, I wonder if there's a place, you know what, let's take a look here. I kind of wonder if there was an area where these are, where it actually tells you how to pronounce this. You know, that would be great. Developers, listen to this. If you can put a little area here on how to pronounce these different plants and animals, that would help quite a bit. Obviously, I could look them all up, but I'm so busy these days that I keep forgetting. So I never end up being able to pronounce anything appropriately for you guys, and I apologize. I apologize for my grotesque and horrible failures. Let's put down some more mushrooms, though. That'll make me feel better. Mushrooms make everyone feel better. There we are. And while we're up here, I think I want to put down maybe like another jackrabbit. Let's put down some jackrabbits. Kind of over here, we'll continue to move this way. And we want to make sure that those jackrabbits have something to eat. So we'll put down some of this cactus over here. And we'll also put down a little bit just more like grasses and stuff like that over here. Because I know, I know that those jackrabbits love their grasses. Let's move this bar over here so that we can get even more grass down. There we are. A couple more joint furs, maybe like right over here couple more galeta grass right over here kind of surround those surround those rabbits so they have plenty to do and what the heck maybe another sage bush kind of over here there we are and man i'll tell you these mushrooms always go so fast that i'll probably put down another set of them right about here there we are now we have more alerts going on because multiple groups of mushrooms have low health I kind of wonder, maybe it's just because they can't, they can't live all that well because it's the desert. Let's scroll in here and click on these real fast. I'm curious what it says about like the biome area. Mushrooms are found in every biome except for the Arctic. Really? Wow. Every place on earth has its own particular mushrooms. Some mushrooms grow on trees or logs, some grow out of the ground, and some even grow underground. The mushrooms in your biome are meant to look like the common North American mushroom of the Mycenae genus? Mycenae Gen genus? I think, right? No? Something like that. We're moving toward the waterline, folks. Slowly getting there. I think what I'll do is I'll go over here, and let's go ahead and unlock the next area can unlock the next zone that's going to be right here wow 200 of these coins so i can definitely see how you need to how you end up spending these coins yeah there we go see now we have 250 energy wow that's awesome we have a ton of energy now in fact we have so much energy that i want to get a couple of extra critters down we'll put another jack rabbit over here Maybe we'll put down some more honeybees right over here. There we are. And let's keep moving on over. We'll put down a nice pollinator because we don't have one in this area. And I want to make sure that there's at least something over here to help the pollination going on. We could certainly use some rats and mice. So let's go ahead and put down one of these deer mice. And let's go ahead and put down a kangaroo rat kind of over here oh these jackrabbits are hopping around having a good time look at them go doing quite well actually group of deer mice has a low population you know we could probably use a couple of deer mice over on this side of the map as well i imagine they're kind of going down a little bit let's put one of those guys over there and we'll put down some kangaroo rats over here and then i'll probably go ahead and just get down some extra plant life over here like this a little extra joint furs never hurt anyone at least i didn't i don't think that they did a couple extra of these plants some more desert spoons would be nice and we don't have any real big sagebrush over here so let's go ahead and put one kind of like right here and we are fresh out of energy for the moment Let's go take a look at what our biome looks like. Let's give a, a little precursory search through here. See if anything's happening amongst our various critters. What happened here? Oh, this badger died. He died horribly. It doesn't even say how old he was. I'm kind of interested to know. And this cougar has fallen asleep right next to the deer mice territory. <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
and these little guys over here, these badgers and this and this mule deer have both gone to sleep right next to the beaver tail cactus. Oh, the deer is up. I wonder if he'll be getting something to eat. Now, all this is pollinated as well, which is good. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, we've got a coyote trucking across the lands here. Kind of wonder if he's looking for something to eat. Let's see, he's passing up all the mice. Passing up. Oh, he got one. He got one right there. I saw it. A kangaroo rat. That coyote got that rat right away. And now his hunger is full. I'm surprised that little morsel there could really keep him keep him satisfied, but uh, who am I to question the eating habits of the coyote? I'm sure he'll be eating more soon. Let's put some more of this bush down. And we'll put some more of this cactus down as well. And let's go ahead and get some more critters down. Now the mice are just, they really get beat up by everything around here. So let's put down some more of those guys. Where can I fit these guys? Right about there. And I always like to put some rats with when I put down my mice. So we'll put down some rats as well. We'll put these guys kind of like right over here. There we are. And I know we'll probably be running out of mushrooms in any given time. So let's put down some mushrooms right about here. There we are. Group of moths has a low population, huh? All right. Well, wouldn't want that to happen. Let's see if I can find some moths real quick to put down. Actually, you know what? I may even put down those nice butterflies because those look really cool too. The marine blues. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put these guys right over here. That gets most of the plant life. And plus, I'll be moving all of our plant life up in here. Ah, weekly income, 39 coins. That's quite a haul. Love it. And you know what? We haven't really done any millipedes or anything, so I guess I'll throw down a chunk of millipedes. I don't really know what to call it. A cluster of millipedes, we'll say, right over there. Now, moving over here. Oh, the desert willow. Have I put any of these down? I don't, I'm not sure I have. Oh, a dead tortoise. What happened to that poor guy? I'm not sure I put down one of these desert willows. Let's take a look at it real quick. I want to see what this looks like if I haven't put it down. I'm not a beaver tail cactus. That's not what I want at all. Hold on. Let me let me click off this. There we are. Where's that desert willow? There it is. Right about there. Let's take a look at that. Desert willow should be, I think, right here. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Let's read a little bit on it. The desert willow is found in the desert. Obviously, it also grows in dry grassland areas. That's a little biome humor for you there. The desert willow's large showy flowers are not what one would typically associate with a de desert plant. It takes a lot of water and energy to produce flowers, so many desert plants conserve resources by producing very small ones. The desert willow is able to produce large flowers because it typically grows near water sources, so conserving water isn't a big issue. The desert willows in your biome will grow anywhere you plant them. Okay, so they don't have to be next to the water. That is a nice developer's note to mention that as well. Now we have a bunch more of these going on. Uh, more mushroom populations going down in number. So that's fine. Actually, you know what? I was kind of wondering if I could turn off the alerts but I don't think you can I don't want to turn off like my menu sounds and stuff like that so I guess we'll just kind of leave it for right now let's put down some more critters though I do want to put down probably like another armadillo about there and we'll we'll put down a bunch more plants and stuff over here as well so that we can start moving toward the water we are slowly getting there like I say I like to build um kind of in in sections like this so we are slowly getting there what are these here ah Akatillo. let's find a couple more of those those look like big beefy plants there we go a couple over there we'll put down a nice bush right here as well Oop, i missed there we go put down a bush there maybe a little bit more agave like that and we have quite a bit of energy right now, so I think a nice cactus is in order. A nice, big, powerful cactus. We'll put this one kind of over here. It's got plenty of leaves for everyone to eat, so I'm sure everyone will be enjoying that. And what the heck? Maybe we'll, we'll put down some rattlesnakes over here as well. 
and some king snakes to kind of deal with some of the rattlesnake population right about there. We'll also put down some extra badgers because you can never have too many badgers. There we go. And we don't have any, we don't have any real big animals over here yet. So let's go way over here. And I think I'm going to put down these peccaries because those are pretty cool. And I'd like to have at least one more of these guys on the map right now. I think there's one way over here, if I remember correctly. Here we are. And there's only two of those left, so they're almost gone. So it's good to have another one. We'll put these guys right about over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Yep, we're almost to the water. Let's take a look real quick through our biome as the, pecker as the peccaries start racing through the countryside. Man, this is so cool. We have just a ton of life everywhere. That's a dead badger right there. I wonder if he was taken out by this bobcat. We've got a tortoise hanging out, slowly kind of meandering down the slope. Got this antelope, if I can click on it. If I can click on it. There he is. The pronghorn antelope, getting something to eat from these chrysote bushes. Seems to enjoy that quite a bit, actually. Honeybees, how are you guys doing? Population 100, 100. The honeybees are doing just fine. Really, the only thing that are going to threaten those guys are maybe these badgers. And we have a couple of mushrooms here on the outskirts. All right, guys, I think that that's it for now. The desert uh, populace over here is coming along really quite well. I really love it. Moving along here with the owlbot. Let's zoom way in so we can actually... Take a look at some of the stuff. Oh, like this right here. Look at these butterflies. Look at the detail. Look at the detail on these guys. That is really neat. Oh, wow. I'm almost speechless. It's kind of, it's almost difficult to talk while you're kind of going through all that neat stuff like that. All right. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.